and the battle continues. Fight! I was going to ask you about the, the busts, the full-size busts. The that... life-size busts. Yeah, the life-size busts. Is that something that's, like, priority right now, or...? Uh, I wouldn't say it's a priority. The life-size busts just... They don't make us very much profit. Yeah. They, we do them because I like to do them. Yeah. So that means we will still do that. But it means that it's not a priority, so it's not like we're rushing any out. Yeah. Uh, will you see a Street Fighter life-size bus next year? Absolutely, 100%. You might even see two. But it's... it's it, it, I, I call them our side projects. They're the stuff we work on in between the stuff that pays the bills. Okay, and then you also have the articulated figures, right? Yeah, the one-sixth articulated figures are, again, kind of a, um, I don't want to say a pet project of mine, but I am designing and sculpting the, I mean, that's it's kind of my thing. Uh, and because my time is so limited, you know, I work on them when I can. Um, so they're going slow. Okay. Yeah, no, they sound like pretty complicated, so, but I'm sure they'll be amazing. So Honda turned out incredible. I just want to say that for the record. Like, I'm, we're sitting right next to him. I'll probably post that picture of us so with him. So far, everybody who's seen him in person has liked him. When you see him in person, it's, it, the way he translates from the 2D medium into, like, 3D, he's just, he's so bulky and he's so awesome and he's such a fun character. Yeah. Uh, so I'm happy to see him. And he, he is in proper scale because... You know, as we know, the Street Fighter line is actually a little closer to one fifth yeah. than one quarter. He's in scale with the line, but you see him next to Liu Kang, and you're like, he looks small. But that's because all the Street Fighter figures would Liu Kang would look like, uh, you know, Balrog. Uh, you know, he's like the size of Balrog. Yeah, and uh, and yeah. Anyway, Liu Kang would look. The ninjas are pretty big, so. Yeah, the ninjas are a little too big. Oh, they? <laughs> yeah, they're they're a little bit bigger than quarter scale. Oh, uh, I didn't know that. That's interesting. I always thought they were pretty big. Yeah. Um, all right, so like, since this is the second interview, and I don't want to take up much more of your time, is there any like on the Mortal Kombat side? Don't you hate Mortal Kombat? Do I hate it? No, I don't actually. I actually. It's not the only thing that mattered with Street Fighter. I have memories, like really good memories as as a child from Mortal Kombat. It's just I like teasing the Mortal Kombat fans. I like to like. I just like to. Tease them because they're getting all the good shit right now. So they're, they're like, I mean, we're getting good shit too, but they're getting a, like the volume. You know, yeah, I so, have to say, I am very surprised that the first one third statue is Mortal Kombat and not Street Fighter. Well, I mean, I think you made the right decision in regards to like rethinking the Akuma. It wasn't that the Akuma statue wasn't amazing, like in terms of the sculpt. It was a beautiful sculpt. But uh, my concern, like, I don't know if I'm not, obviously not representative of everyone, but my concern was that if I was not going to see another Akuma statue for seven years, because it has been like seven years, right. I would, I, I'd be fine with that statue if there were two or three other options or something, you know? But like, if it's going to be another seven years before I see another Akuma statue and I'm going to be an old man, like, I, I, I just, for me, I, the pose wasn't quite iconic enough. But I think like the one that you have right now, at least uh, the the teasers that we've seen and the and the image, is going to work. Well, hopefully it's going to work really well. I, I like it. You know, it's it doesn't represent any kind of iconic pose. No, it's it doesn't. Just an interesting, powerful pose. Yeah. Uh, but Capcom likes it as well, and that makes my life a lot easier when I don't have to fight with Capcom. That. Yeah, no, I think that's really good that you yeah. that, that that's happening. Um, so I think it's awesome that you listen to people, and um, I'm sure like some rich kind of like Arabian will come in and <laughs> buy, buy the original prototype, the one of one, for like twenty five thousand dollars or something. I could only hope. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So that's basically. It. Is there anything? Is there any like any clues or anything like that that you want to throw out to any of the Mortal Kombat fans? Uh, Mortal Kombat news? Isn't going to be nice to the Mortal Kombat uh, news? Um, we have uh, one more uh, classic going up for sale before the end of the year. Okay. So that might be a little unexpected. And uh, then at the very, very beginning of next year, 
or or maybe even if I if I really feel like it at the end of this year, we'll show the first Mortal Kombat X statue. Okay. So it, it, it really is a, a big time for Mortal Kombat fans as far as statue collecting. Wow. Yeah. They We've got a lot planned. A, I'm amazed at how many Mortal Kombat fans there are. Sorry. <laughs> well, you know, you know what's happened is it's interesting because our, our MK stuff started off really slow in sales. Oh, really? It, it did, and, and it, it was a gradual build, and it's now doing as well as Street Fighter. Do you think it's the sculpts um, themselves, or you, or you think it's uh, the release of MK9? Or, that had already happened, right? What? MK9 had already happened before you did the statues, right? Yes, MK9 is what... Yeah, they had released MK9. Yeah, because you did Scorpion, And then they came yeah. to us and said, you know, we want to do it. I'm Maybe. sure they went to Sideshow first. And it's said, I mean, it's possible that, like, people just were buying the statues somewhere else. Because there was a couple other companies, I think, doing Psycho, right? Uh, I think that's what they were called, yeah. yeah. Uh, they did some statues. They weren't very good, though. There were a couple that were okay. Yeah. But for the most part, they weren't very good. Yeah. Um, but, uh... No, I think really what it was is Mortal Kombat fans weren't used to having those kind of collectibles. They didn't know they existed. It yeah. just took a while for them to find out they existed. Oh, that was the same thing for me in Street Fighter. I wasn't there when Akuma came, you know, when Akuma yeah. came out, but like when I realized they existed, I was like, holy mother of God, I need these. Yeah. Um, I got to tell you, I, I just... Even though I love those old statues in a way, I can't wait to redo all those characters. Because because they don't match the new ones to me. Right. They're just sculpted in a different style. Yeah. No. They de definitely. Yeah. They uh, were. They were. I. Because I'm always. I'm a big fan of Udon. So I was always going for what I thought was an Udon style. And then you know Capcom slowly pushed us to Street Fighter Four official art. Well, Super Street Fighter Four official artwork. Yeah. And uh, which thankfully is much better than Street Fighter Four official artwork. And uh, so. You know, we are basically, you know, it's all Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 4 now. And, and that doesn't match that Udon style very well. No, that's true. But the, I know that uh, in some cases you've been able to, like, play around with it a bit. And so, like, I'll ask this question for Joppola uh, or Patrick on the forums because he keeps asking about the third portrait. Oh, yeah. Um, here's what happened. Um, when we we got the first production sample of Ryu back, once we saw the shrinkage, we realized he was too small. Oh. So we had to re-output the, the digital sculpt and start from scratch two months ago. The whole thing? The whole thing. Okay. With a new output that was like 6% larger. Um, so I have to re-sculpt the, the portrait. new portrait. I had done the new portrait, yeah. but we never even got to painting it because that's when we found out the whole thing was small. Okay. So I still have to re-sculpt that portrait again, 6% yeah. larger, which is why I haven't shown it. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I shouldn't say I have, I have re-sculpted it. I just haven't... Uh, finished it, like output it and, and painted it and all that stuff. So, end of the year, we will probably show that. Okay. That makes sense. I feel like I had another question in my head, and I can't remember what it is. It's going to bug me now. Oops. Uh, messed up the videos a little bit. It's actually in part three where you'll see Justice League and Judge Dredd, so check it out.